Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today I want to talk about outfits and how to create outfits for your characters in an easy way. So as you know, I like to keep everything simple. So my first tip is to start with simple shapes. Before going for something very complex or something concrete, just focus on basic shapes like rectangles, triangles, anything you can come up with. So for example, I have here my two characters, Jonah and Nevlan, and as you can see, I can break everything here down to simple shapes. So for example, here you have basically a trapezium, we have some rectangles for the shorts here, and that's it. Okay, we can count here this part, which is a little rectangle, and here we have a simple outfit. The same thing here, we have a shape like this. Of course, you don't really do exactly draw rectangles or squares or circles. You can do some made-up shapes like these ones, but starting with very simple shapes will help you out, because whenever you need to draw your character, you can just start with these simple shapes and then work from there. I think it makes things much easier and it will help you focus on the important things of the outfits. So as you can see, I break down everything into very simple shapes and this will help me develop the outfit as I go. Making an outfit quite simple will also help you out in the long run because let's say you want to draw a comic with your characters. You're going to be drawing your characters a lot and you might want to draw them in the same outfit or almost in the same outfit. And you might want that, that outfit to be pretty simple or else you're going to spend a lot of time drawing that outfit over and over. All right, so for my next tip, as always, look for reference. If you don't know how to draw something, then you can go over on Pinterest, for example, and find the things that you want to draw. For example, let's say you want to draw some armor. So let me just write here, armor, and there we go. You're going to see lots of images of armor and you can take this as reference. So you can learn how to draw it properly and what kind of style you want to go for. Besides Pinterest, you can also go for stock websites like Unsplash, I really like Unsplash for finding some references images from time to time. So for example, I'm going to look up for dresses and there we go. Again, we have quite a few examples. Let's say you want like a cocktail dress maybe. Let's see what can we find here. Not exactly a dress, but we do have here an interesting outfit. So you can find some things in these websites. However, when looking for outfits, I always prefer Pinterest because Pinterest is very is made towards the, this kind of things like the outfits or home decoration. So finding an, an interesting outfit is always better to look for in here. So for example, if I go to, to dress here, there we go. We have a full body image of dresses over and over. So. Pinterest can be a bit more helpful to finding some outfit references than stock photos websites because the stock websites are more for you to use in graphics, for example. So if you're doing ads or you want to make a cover of a magazine, for example, it's to use in this kind of things for covers and so on. And in Pinterest, you'll find more easily references of dresses that you can see and outfits that you can see clearly. and take inspiration or learn how to draw them. So, for my next tip, and I mentioned this before, is to keep it simple. Try to not add too much detail. So, for example, as you can see, here we have Nevelyn again and Brynris. Now, you might have noticed that I never really draw Brynris aside from this turnaround of her. And maybe one of the main reasons for that it's because she has so much detail. She, there's just too much going on. I mean, the shoes here also have some detail. There's another jewel here, another here. I mean, there's just a lot, right? Look at this. So sometimes adding too much details is not very good. 
first your character will stop being unique because they have just too much going on and second it's going to be hard for you to draw it over and over again so i don't know maybe if it's an extravagant character for example i want Brynris to, Brynris to be someone who is very extravagant so i decided to add a lot of accessories to her but looking back and thinking about it maybe i could communicate that better for example if she had just a ton of necklaces instead of having earrings necklace a pipe a golden tooth a tiara thing there's just too much going around but for if i just drew her with a ton of necklaces the message that she likes gold would pass through to the viewer and i wouldn't have so much to draw or maybe i could just draw very big earrings with lots of jewels you know things like this adding a detail that will show off her extravagance but do not go over it on the other hand we do have here neflan and as you can see he's very simple his outfit is very simple there's not if i want to draw him again there's not a lot i have to do i mean we have the coat we have pants some shoes a scarf here and finally the hat and even the hat i can choose to not draw it draw it at times if i decide he's inside the home for example and i don't want him to wear the hat so i think his outfit translates him very well he's not very extravagant right he doesn't use bright colors they're all very neutral uh, he might live a bit in a colder place so he has this scarf and a long coat a long winter coat and some boots and he might be a wizard or some kind of magician because of his head right so think about these things keep things simple and add that detail that you think is really necessary but don't go overboard with it now another very important tip i want to give you is if the outfit has several layers draw them separately because you might want to draw your character with or without one of these layers and you want to remember this so for example i have here jonah on his underwear and you noticed you might have noticed before that he wears a poncho right but he has something underneath the poncho so we have here the tank top again it's a very simple outfit He's just wearing a tank top with the shorts so having this reference is going to be very useful so if your character is in different situations you can draw them accordingly or you can draw the outfit accordingly so for example Jonah lives near a river or in a river village and let's say he wants to go swim with his friends he probably will be in his underwear right this that's what he's going to be wearing let's say he's going fishing but it's a very warm day and he might prefer to leave the poncho behind and go for the tank top only so you see there are many situations and you might want to forego some pieces of clothing depending on that situation think about it and if you do have an outfit that has more than one layer just make a, a very simple reference sheet like just like this one you can just draw your character standing still and almost like a dress-up doll you know those websites where you had a model and you just choose the clothing and put it on top it's basically this so you draw your character in their underwear for example and then you copy this one and draw the clothing on top draw the first layer on top then you copy it again and add the other layer and so on now finally Another thing that will help you a lot into designing your outfit a bit more easily and to never forget about it is to create a turnaround of your character. Because one thing is drawing the character from the front. The clothes will look one way, right? We have the buttons here, the scarf is this shape. However, when you turn your character, those clothes will change as well as some of the details, right? We have here another example, we have Johnny here again. So obviously when he is turned to the front, you see you have a button here and the seams of the poncho. However, 
from the side you don't see the seams for example not as easily you see a little bit of the, the button however from the back you have nothing of that it's just it's plain i don't have any kind of detail in the poncho from the back the same thing goes here for the patch we have the patch that you can see from the front we see a little bit of it from the side but again there's no patch on the back view so when designing the outfit for your character you have to think in 3d and not only 2d because you're going to be drawing your characters in many different views so do draw them accordingly so and have a turnaround sheet so you always have a reference to go back to and look at whenever you want to draw your character and never forget about anything now if you don't know how to create a turnaround for your character i do have a video on drawing a turnaround so you have a handy reference and always know how to draw your character or the outfits for your character so do check that out if that's something you want to learn more about like and subscribe if you like this video and as always keep on drawing